everybody and welcome in this tutorial I will show you how to create simple UI design using game so let's get started first let's make some landscape canvas okay go to file new and set to this size this is the high resolution of the background size just hit ok give some background color go to this let's input this color code it's black with a little brown color just hit ok and fill it with bucket tool now add the beta fish go to file open just this fish click open just hit convert all right let's select it fast with the fuzzy tool because the background is currently in solid color so it's much easier and faster to select the images right just click on the black background make it grow by 2 to make it the to make the selection smoother and don't forget to right click at alpha channel to make it transparent and press delete on your keyboard let's select none or control shift a on the keyboard and drag the fish to this canvas let's scale it down Control on the keyboard to make it proportional. Flip it with the split tool. Just click. Okay, now let's add some text element. Go to this text tool and let's type. Uh, by the way, I'm using the railway font. It's open license fonts. Thanks to the creator, you can download in the link description. And let's kern it. Select it all by Control A. And make the current by 90. Change the size to 300. Move the layer to the top and place it to the beta fish. Next step, add layer mesh to the text layer to hide some of the text. Just right click, add layer mesh, and just white. Then click add. Make sure your brush color on the black because black for hiding and white for reveal then brush it you see too much worry in here and here because I have to brush carefully to make the text still in nice condition and it's not good let me show you the safest way and the fun way to do it Let's undo it by Ctrl Z. And duplicate this text layer. Move it to the bottom of the fish. Let's rename it the back. For the front is front. Now you have to text element between the fish. Alright, make, make layer mesh again. Right click, add layer mesh and hit add. With this brush tool, make sure the color in black. Okay, now now let's see if I brush it, it's perfectly fine. Even I go brush here because you have the backup. That's the trick. This is a little tips if you are working on typography, uh, make some poster or anything, and keep the font clean. You see, when I brush here, the font is no change. When I brush here too, no more worries, it's perfectly fine, because you have the backup. Okay, next thing, make some blurry background fish here, just duplicate this beta fish, and move it below the backup text, and let's scale it, hold control to make it proportional, and press enter. And reduce the opacity around here. Make some blur, go to filter, blur, and just Gaussian blur. And let's increase the blur. Okay. Now I'm gonna add more text element to here and here. Thank you. 
Well done, you've done great. Now the last thing at the UI elements on this four corner. All right, let's drag some ruler on this top to here. And from this left. And from the top again. To here. And from the left again for the right for the right side. Make some text to this corner. Gonna duplicate this. Name it. And for this bottom left, gonna duplicate this text for the social media. And for this bottom right, I'm gonna to duplicate to make it fast. For the top right, the menu icon, go to file, open this layer, and choose this grid. And let's reduce it. Let's reduce it by 30. Make it white by inverting this color. Go to color, invert and move it to here and the last thing for the circle depth in here go to file open this layer and just this circle and resize it by 15 pixels quick scale okay now move it to straight to this ruler and change the color to white Go to color, invert, okay, then duplicate it by three. I'm gonna add more ruler to make it in the middle of the canvas. Let's reduce the opacity. Seven point five and this two. For this, to hide the ruler, press Ctrl Shift T on the keyboard or go to View and inactivate this mark. That's all, guys. I hope you can learn how to make simple UI design with the typography contrast in game. Don't forget to like and subscribe to make sure you are in update about this game tutorial. It's Zaki Design, create something good today.